Hi, my name is Paul Feierman, organist, and as you can already see and hear, boy, bombard, we are at another church and uh, gonna view another organ. This is what your church looks like. Andrea is already up there playing, and uh, we are gonna check out uh, the instrument. It's a huge stone church, so the acoustics are phenomenal. And um, yeah, I hope you will enjoy that. So here we are in the church in Quignolo, uh, still Italy. And as you can see, you've got the same uh, layout as the other organs. But this one actually is a place in a huge church, which uh, equals huge acoustics. So uh, we are going to check out the uh, full organ, uh, at least the pleno, um, and uh, hear what that sounds like. And that's pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. So uh, it sounds something like this. still going. So as you can hear, it's an amazing space with amazing acoustics. And uh, let's go through all the stops again. We are starting with a 16 foot Principale, uh, which sounds like this very soft, very dark. And we can add the Principale 1, 8 foot. which makes it uh, more soft. The Ottava, the forefoot. The Rudezima, the two foot. Uh, combined again. Which are typical Italian and very bright and wonderful. So we are gonna remove all of these stops again. Uh, down here there's the uh, subasso and the contrabasso, which is the pedal. And uh, down here we have got some couplers and super octave couplers. But we are going to continue with the cornetta, uh, which is a cornet, sounding like this. You can combine it with the other eight foots and uh, make it pretty uh, powerful. got uh, several reeds here, um, starting with the uh, contrafagotto, something like this. Which is very and a uh, dark. We've got the tromba military, which uh, comprehends or uh, adds to the um, manual as well. Which is wonderful. We've got the eight foot uh, reeds, something like this. And um, the Claron four foot, which adds to the bass. It's uh, as always, it's uh, split into bass and soprano. So the bass basically covers everything below C and the soprano everything above C. And if we combine all of these reeds and maybe add a principal and a, maybe a bombard, yep, 
um, we get a pretty mighty sound which is wonderful and almost French sounding in my opinion. And you can hear uh, it sounding in the church as well. Amazing. Uh, we've got some nice flutes as well, uh, sounding like this. This is an eight foot. Sorry, there's the principle still on. Let's hear the foot, uh, flute now. We've got a flauto uh, forefoot. We can also combine them. Which is wonderful and bright. Um, there's an Ottavino two foot. Which is wonderful. We can also use it with the um, Horn de Pachia, which is a 16 foot and uh, get this wonderful um, um, oh, sorry, wonderful uh, bell-like effect. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> and um, uh, we've got the Voce Umana, which we know from the other organs, which is the, um, the uh, you know, the human voice, basically, sounding like this. I told you. And um, down here we've got a timbali, which is uh, the typical effect stop, which uh, affects the pedal as well. Uh, sounding like this. I'm still not sure how you would use that, but if you're an expert in Italian literature, I've heard that it's written somewhere on the piece, but if you know a, a use for the timbali, please let me know. I would be very interested. Um, the Pumbo or 16 foot, we know, all know the use for that. And there also is an 8 foot tromba. Combined, they sound pretty powerful. Pretty cool, isn't it? And um, yeah, that's about it with the uh, great manual. And over here we have the um, smaller manual, which, yeah, you can see here. Um, it's actually located like five meters above the organ, uh, so it's very, very quiet. And we're going to hear the Principale now, the eight foot principle, and you will hear that it's very, very soft. That is very wonderful. So there's an Ottawa four foot. we've got the uh, two foot and the piano which is the mixture which is also very very shy and tame uh, because it's uh, located up there and um, down here we've got a violoncello and an oboe sounding like this Also very soft, very wonderful. We can use a tremolo on this. Yeah, you can hear it a little bit, at least. 
Um, and then we've got a watch celeste, which is very special because it usually isn't um, included in here. Um, uh, something like this. Oh, it's a basel. And we probably have to use it with this. Um, can also use it with the print sheet. Ugh, these are so hard to pull, you can't imagine. <laughs> The Voce Corale is the 16 foot variant. No, no, it's not. It's a read, but we're gonna listen to that later. Um, so, again, this is the um, Voce Lest, basically. Which is wonderful. And then we've got the Voce Corale 16 foot, which is a read. Which is a bit out of tune. <laughs> but um, that's about it with the uh, positive organ which is located up there. And um, yeah, we've got some uh, interesting pedals which I also don't really know and recognize. But um, over here you can see the different um, uh, different uh, meanings of the pedals. So it basically uh, says that Tasto al Pedale is uh, the first pedal, the Union Tastere is this one. And um, it basically are, uh, are couplers and uh, single stops, which you could use in a solo uh, example. And um, yeah, that's about it with the organ. And we're gonna pull out all the stops now and see and hear what it sounds like. And it's gonna be pretty impressive. And we can, as always, if you come here, we can use the special Italian lever here to pull out all of these oof, 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 like this. And then we can add some reeds uh, like this and this and this. Of course, we need to bombard the bombarda, the trombone. Um, I'll add the uh, super coupler later. And then we are uh, good to go. Yeah, sounds good, I think. And um, then we will hear the organ in its uh, full glory. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this short tour and um, yeah, I'm gonna play the organ at its loudest setting now, and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.